Welcome to the Illinois Redneck Channel. Um, today we're going to be hunting Bigfoot. Now, most people aren't able to catch one, but the thing is, they don't have a distraction. Leprechaun. I am Riley Mooneyham, your reporter, and this evening we just saw <laughs> uh, a leprechaun pop out of the garbage and a big steal stealing a, a big foot stealing his lucky charms. Thankfully, uh, the the a little girl <laughs> shot the big big foot. Don't stand in front of me. Now here we are. With what is your name? Tiger Lily. Princess Tiger Lily of the Mackinac tribe. And uh, now, suppose how many Bigfoots do you shoot a year? Well, I normally don't shoot them, but this one was really old and needed put down, and he stunk really bad. So there you have it, folks. That's all. <laughs> Good. Okay. Okay, Clark Mooneyham here again. Uh, tonight we're going to show you uh, the world's first combination ping pong and golf ball gun. Uh, started out to build this just to shoot ping pong balls. So I kind of, it was based on the design of our golf ball gun. Uh, the, you'll notice the difference is it's a little bit shorter, but we made it wide like a crossbow. The reason we did that is to uh, put more tension on the ball at the, the end of the stroke. So while it's shorter, actually it has about the same effective stroke as the other golf ball gun. But the rubber's a lot lighter because uh, if I had to put very much pressure on it, it would have crushed the uh, ping pong balls. I'll shoot a couple ping pong balls and let you see how it works. So it's very light draw. Ping pong balls don't have very much mass at all, but it still sounds like they got pretty good pop to it. So with the ghillie suit on, I could barely feel it though. So this would be a good alternative for a kid if they wanted to have a gun that's not going to show a whole lot of damage. What? Is that ping pong or golf ball? That's ping pong ball there. So it's, it works uh, pretty good considering uh, it does no more uh, time than I put into it actually. Uh, what I was surprised to find that since I had built it on the golf ball pattern it actually does shoot a golf ball pretty good. While I thought that uh, golf balls being very heavy would need a lot of poundage to uh, get the golf ball going this seems to do a very good job Oh, those leprechauns. Lucky. Always, always get me in trouble. Ah, lucky. But actually, it propels the golf ball a lot better than what I thought it would with uh, just one piece of rubber on each side. So, the next thing I'm going to do is uh, put some more loops of rubber on it 
and uh, see how much power we can develop with it. So I think that's all we're going to do for right now. So uh, see you later. Stunts, but he was afraid to let me shoot him. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs>